All right. Uh, welcome everybody to the first episode of this podcast. We have no idea what we're gonna call it yet, but uh, hopefully some regulars you're gonna see are me, uh, uh, Hectralis Major over here, and hopefully uh, Alyssa Cat. Uh, today we have a few topics in mind, but I kind of want to just start off with uh, whatever Hector wants to talk about. Whatever I want to talk about. Whatever the fuck you want to talk about, dude. What, what, You're putting you me so on the spot here. I thought this you had a list. You on the I, I have I have a list. I have a I list, but it's like pressure. mostly as <laughs> I have a list, but it's like mostly like in case you didn't have anything off the top of your head. Like I could just pick from it right now if you wanted me to. Okay. Um. We could do like little random sidebar things like throughout, but yeah, go ahead and start with your list. All right. I don't uh, my head. So we were just talking about it very uh, lightly, but I do want to talk about the Apple scanning their iPhones for child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's really good. A lot of people are like angry. Like I think that it's like invading their privacy. And then like the argument is like, well, then what are you hiding? But it's like, right. it's like well, they probably aren't hiding anything. It's just like people yeah, get it's, paranoid. It's not about like that. You're hiding something. It's like when you let like your significant other look through your phone. Like you don't really want them to, but it doesn't mean that you're hiding something. It's just yeah. Like, you just feel right. really right. uncomfortable. You know? and, like, you just feel... Yeah. It, you feel. <laughs> what, what's the name but, of Apple's like... CEO? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, Bill Gates, right? What? I think right. Gates was Windows. Yeah, Gates is Windows. Right. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Yes. And Matt, so, so Steve well, Jobs dead, is just so invading. You're still talking about him. Right. Well, I mean, I'll just say him because I don't even know what the new CEO's name is. But like, yeah. <laughs> he's invading your privacy. He's, he's he's walking into your room without knocking. He's mm-hmm. like, "Where's the fucking child porn? I know you have it." <laughs> it's it's any I feel like it's any uh, yellow iPhone honestly if we're gonna stereotype yellow. it yellow iPhone any, I almost any, bought a yellow iPhone uh, oh <laughs> just got a yellow iPhone. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> well like you know like they <laughs> said like anyone with a red iPhone is racist like do you remember seeing those memes what um, I oh yeah I never had I, one I've but I always that. wanted one. I have a red Some iPhone right now. It does not make so me a racist, me though. Say the yellow iPhone. Yeah, so yeah, red iPhone racist, uh, yellow, yellow iPhone, iPhone, you watch iPhone. child CP? porn. Pedophile. Yeah, CP, pedophile, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I I think it's I think it's a really, really good thing, because obviously they're going to catch like a I'm ton gonna, like, of people, yeah. but I can't like, imagine. What specifically they're looking for, though? Like, So they're making like, an we, algorithm. We before we started, but like... Does it is it like actual like two so, children fucking or did like oh. know, like nudie pics count from like when you were a teenager is what I'm wondering. So uh what I do oh what like the it's fuck got, it's gotta be some sort of like criminal level type thing. Uh yeah, mm. so what I do know uh what they're doing with the algorithm, the algorithm basically basically just scans your uh photo library hidden and all and uh turns it into like ones and zeros and like will red flag it if there is something but it won't actually show the image so like people at apple aren't just like scanning through your photos Watching. like oh this is definitely yeah. child porn right here i can see it with my own eyes it's literally an algorithm that's looking for like children's faces or something like that oh and, like making sure it's not like it. pornography yeah and like the context so well, let's I mean, with some people, you can't even tell if they're children or not. Like, there's, like, 30-year-olds who still look like they're 14. And, like, I don't... And then there's, I, like, 14-year-olds that look like they're 30. Yeah. Well, like, there's also, like, an argument to be made. Like, oh, you're, like, uh, baby's first bath or something like that. Ha ha ha. Like, it's, right. like, they're in, like, the sink or something. You're not trying to fucking make child porn. You're making memories of your kid. You right. know what I mean? Like, if there's a few pictures of your baby in the bath... Then that's, that's a little bit... your child... Then it's fine. But if there's yeah. like fifty pictures of different babies taking a bath, yeah, it right. kind of sucks, <laughs> mate. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being a child uh, photographer, like the one that has to like right, take the right, pictures right. of them like playing like in front of the green screen? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like that's all their phone is—is like, is children. Sw- <laughs> those people are sweating right now. <laughs> Fucked, dude. <laughs> 
like these newborn uh, babies that are asleep and they're, you know, posing for photos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those are true. That that's like, uh, I, so like I still think it's a really good idea. I've been I've at least heard that it's like a very in depth algorithm. So like you can't really be uh, thrown under the bus for something that's not child porn. Um, and like, I'm sure the algorithm takes into account your age, uh, uh, versus the photos that you do have. So like what you were saying with like nudie pics from high school or some shit like that, like, I'm sure it takes into account how old you were when that picture, when you have that picture to how old you are now. So like, I'm sure it like doesn't matter or something like that. Um, you know, at the time, like, that was just the fucking trade. It was, like, Pokemon cards. It's fucking... I don't know. Colin was pretty worried about it, like, once I turned 18. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it came up that I had some pictures, and then he was like, you gotta delete that shit, like, now. And I'm like, dude, it was, like, two years I think, ago. I think I got pretty scared, too, yeah. I think I got, like, a little bit scared about that. I think I purged, like... Like... 80% at the time that I did it. Because, mm. like, the other 20% was actually women who were older than me, so. Right. Mm. I don't think I ever had any because in high school I was a saint. Yeah, you, yeah, you were. Been, yeah, a little yeah. baby angel, huh? Little I baby was. angel. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I turned 18, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, that one year gap will really do something to God, imagine. Well, like you knew uh, Alan in uh, high school. Yeah, did you not? We, we dated freshman year, but no. But we never did the deed. And no, we only dated like a couple weeks. And like even then, we didn't really like text. And we just saw each other at school. Mm. Right. Just like imagine like his thought process is like. I should have I should have kept it going till she was eight until she was eighteen. <laughs> well, how old was he? That's it. He he's like two two months younger than me. We're the same age. Oh really? Yeah. So you're a cougar. I'm a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> a pedophile. <laughs> a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you were eighteen it's before him, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, it's worse than a rapist. A child, no, that no. uh, wasn't that from wasn't that from Office? It's, uh, Brennan Brennan Rogers. Oh, it was a vine. Oh it's yeah, 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 video, yeah. I guess it is Brennan Rogers. It is Brennan Rogers. Yodgers? Rogers. Yeah. Get it together. Um, yeah. So that uh, kind of honestly wraps up the scanning the phones thing. I, I'm yeah, surprised, yeah. like. I'm surprised, like, Android isn't, like, tagging along with that. Like, it, like it's interesting how, like, uh, other companies that, like, could do something very similar to that aren't, like, coming out and saying that. Unless it's, like, a yeah. stock thing to do. Like, maybe this is the first time Apple's done it and they're catching up. And everyone else has been doing it, but, like, they didn't say anything. No one knew. Yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah. I'm I'm honestly like surprised Apple's doing it because there was the whole thing with the were they terrorists or just people that shot up a school and like everyone wanted them to unlock their iPhones to see if there was any other information they could find, but Apple refused to unlock the iPhone because it was like one of their key. It was like a privacy thing, like yeah. Like, Technically, they were in the right because it's a privacy violation. Something like yeah. that. Like that is the really police wanted them to unlock the terrorist iPhone or whatever, right? And Apple refused to because it goes against all their like values or whatever. Okay, that's. But now yeah, that that, that is really that is right? that is kind of a fucking f like one eighty there. Maybe yeah. just because like they were defending someone like in the court of law, maybe rather than defending themselves, like they were defending the person who didn't want them to go through their phone. So maybe. Um, 
Who? What? Well, who, whoever the authorities, the terrorist. The terrorist well, yeah, they wanted. They he wanted. Was dead. Oh well, then never fucking mind. I guess. He might not have been. In, I don't know. I'm I don't sure even know was. which. I don't even know what uh, you're really referring to. But I mean, like that a is a fucking. Ago, I think like a school got shot up or something. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And well, they got the guy's phone. And they wanted it unlocked to see if there was any information they could find about, like, any plans or something for something bigger. But Apple refused to unlock the phone. It's like, uh... I don't know if they were saying they couldn't, like, they were unable to, or if they wouldn't. Right. That was a perfect time for a segue. That sounds like a real, uh, what was his name? Stein? Evadiah? What's that? Ebediah Stein, Stain, Stain? Forgot his fucking name, but the guy from Iron Man 1, the bald one, who is like... Jebediah? Jebediah. Jebediah. <laughs> is it Jeb... Is it seriously yes. Jeb... What a lame yeah, name. Totally call him Jeb. What a lame name. <laughs> like, he like, has any control. I, well, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Uh, well, it was like Stain or Stein or something like that. Like, that's what they really called him was by his last name. No, right. I always heard Jeb or Jebediah. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, in the perfect first Iron Man, right? Yeah, so perfect segue is in that movie, uh, he was coursing with, like, terrorists. And, like, he wouldn't actually tell the CEO of Stark Industries he was still selling weapons. And he had to almost have a kill. Like, that seems like a situation that's pretty good segue between child porn and marvel yep <laughs> yeah right. i see the connection <laughs> sure. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. very right right so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh not to take content from other people but i was listening to a podcast today and people made me so mad they said uh which i i will say i have not seen this movie until like a week ago i think but they said thor the dark world was so bad and i was like it is not it's not bad i don't think I it's bad it wait wait actually wait which one is that one the second, second one thor. Second oh thor. then never mind i've definitely seen it yeah it's the one with like dark elves great. and stuff like that it's not like on par with a uh, lot i haven't of seen it movies. in years maybe i just need to watch it again Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's but, there's a lot of good parts to that movie like uh, i mean I, just, uh, I hate thor before he fucking started actually looking good like when he looked like a fucking theater dude with the long hair and the red cape and the yeah. doth mothereth no she you wear you wear her drapes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i hated that look on him I, I do prefer Ragnarok Thor a lot more. Ragnarok Thor yeah. is everything, and all the Thors after, like Infinity War, Endgame, blah, blah, blah. Well, not Endgame. Yeah, I no. Fuck, yeah, not fucking Endgame, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, everything yeah. about... Beer belly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I maybe I prefer that over. But he had the long, <laughs> greasy I hair. A little bit of a thicker man. <laughs> He had a little. We don't he, discriminate here. We absolutely <laughs> discriminate if it looks like well, that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Buddy, you're a skin tone and a hair color away. <laughs> and a hair like color? A, that man had the length. greasiest long hair I've ever. Like he looked like. Oh, what is the perfect represent? He looked homeless. That's. I think they literally called him homeless Thor. Which I mean is pretty accurate. So. I mean, he, his he home was his home blown was. up, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, out of every single <laughs> character, mm-hmm. Thor has probably gotten the worst shit ever. Thor has probably yeah. gotten the well, worst yeah, his situation. His hammer broke. He had, he his found entire that he had a, family, his culture, his well, planet. Blown right on up. Blown the fuck up. Or, they went from the very top, like Asgard was the protector of the Nine Realms, to right and like what i also find super like his dad went a little senile and he found out he had a sister and it turns out she's evil and then fucking loki dies and it's like well shit 
<laughs> and then he dies again. And then he dies again. And like he and his brother just keeps on playing these tricks on him. He's an asshole. Mm-hmm. And like I don't know, Loki Loki really threw him around and stuff, and it's it's nice that he had like a redeeming uh redemption arc. A redemption arc for uh Ragnarok and and what I also find interesting so uh Alyssa hasn't seen it yet. I don't know if she cares if I like even say anything about it. Or uh, which one? Loki. Uh Loki. Oh yeah, you can spoil, that's alright. Well, uh so this Loki is before Loki had any kind of uh redeeming qualities. This is right. Loki right after the events of Avengers. Oh like, right. Not not, not even Loki... like sent to yeah, Asgard Kestrak, yet. Right? Yeah. So he they they plucked him straight after the Battle of New York, and right. in within six episodes he was a changed man, and really? I just think that that was just like this like really interesting thing. Like it took a really long time for the other Loki, but I mean I guess he wasn't put yeah. under his own like it's all situation. Uh, adventure. Yeah, it's, uh, he wasn't put under his own like adventure uh save the universe style thing so you know and it's interesting the loki in the show loki he had like different powers than the yeah did he really sort of sort of he didn't have the whole mind control thing i think that was the staff which Um, i was thinking about yeah so yeah Mm hmm Oh jeez. Um, wait, what was that? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Um, so he had like different ish. Like he seemed way stronger in in his actual show than he did Indeed. anywhere else. And like he really? still got like his ass I handed to him. Was interesting. Weaker. No, no, because, like, all he really does in the MCU is illusions and, like, oh, here's a decoy. It's like Mirage. Like, okay, I guess, yeah. Mirage. But all he it, could really do in the show was conjure. Yeah, he would conjure, he would, uh, he would do oh, the decoy all. thing still, and he would, uh, well, yeah, he would conjure quite a few things. Like, he conjured his whole... Um, you could conjure clothes suit. and blades and right? blades right yeah exactly and like uh um, kind of goaded yeah he was really good in the show but i, I think, think that's the also woman just version like, of him was a lot more goaded <sighs> no she really wasn't like not magic she was wise. a better fighter than him for sure and she oh, had better fighter the, yeah and she had the um the mind control thing that's like right what really so made that's her so that's OP. what i was getting to as well um so our Loki had to use the uh, Mind Stone for the that Mind Stone, staff, yeah. but she just comes with its stock, and it's somehow the only thing she knows, which I think is very, very interesting. Yeah. Like obviously she didn't get a chance to learn anything from her mom. Like yeah, our Loki she was did, but... she was taken away at a really young age, right? Yeah, which also I would love to. Uh, figure figure out uh another thing mm-hmm. so our loki is a frost giant and we mm-hmm. found that out obviously in the first store but so is every no so is every single Lo- well no. i know one of them's an alligator one so of them's yeah. an alligator yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah well there is also this other loki that seemed like very interesting as well uh the one that like betrayed so to speak the uh other three the guy ugh, i forgot i forgot which i don't even there's no way of telling you which loki that is i remember the old guy and the young one and the alligator i don't the, remember there there is the fourth one yeah well that fourth one had a hammer like he had like a gold mule near right. and was i he was black? like yeah yeah he was okay and I don't want to. I didn't want to use that as a defining feature, but I. I really yeah. Find well, I mean, else. that's a pretty <laughs> defining feature, though. It's not racist. It's just facts. Right. Like you're um, not yelling at me for saying alligator 
Like, come on. I mean, she's small. Yeah, and Honky's not racist. His best friend's <laughs> half black. Or I never black. had the red iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the red I iPhone. I only wanted it. I never got it, though. <laughs> I never got it, obviously. I love my red iPhone. How dare anyone say I'm racist for it? <laughs> I think it, it's the best color iPhone. Yeah. It's very clean. For a racist. The, the newest generation. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Is yours purple? No, mine's black. Ew! You How is black? that? Ew! That's oh, so yes. basic. Every that iPhone definitely has a red iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. I, I didn't even think. I didn't... It's black. Ew! Ew. <laughs> I, I was gonna say it's only because every iPhone up until they released the color iPhones has been either black or white, and you went with one of those still. Um. Yeah. They didn't have the purple. Scene. They didn't have the purple one when I went to buy it. Oh, uh, okay. Yet. Yeah, conveniently, when I went to go buy mine, uh, I asked for the red one, and I was only going to get, like, the 128, I think, gigs it is. Mm. And it, oh, they only had a 256 in red, and I was like, all right, well, I really want red, so let's get red. Jeez. Uh, like, I'm just shocked they, like, how do you not have enough red iphones in, in well, every, just a lot in every of gigage they i mean, just I mean, a lot of out. They, like, <laughs> oh those dang those <laughs> dang racists <laughs> taking all the iphones taking all the red iphones leave some for the rest of us huh yeah uh, uh you know what that's actually a perfect uh thing too i saw this thing uh i think it was a saturday night live i could be wrong but um it was like if no one informed captain america as to the history after he was frozen and like some dude was like trying to unleash like a nuke or something like that he's like if you want to be the first man to unleash a nuke on a populated area then you will go down in the history books as a piece of shit and he was like so no one told him. So, so no, no one told, told him. him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he's like learning about all the fucked up shit like the USA did while he was asleep. Mm. I just think it's so good. Another, another thing I really wanted to get into. So in the MCU, during every movie after the Avengers, uh, besides Iron Man 3, I don't understand why it's not an Avengers level threat. And I talked to Hector a little bit about this. Right. I so in Iron Man 3 they specify that it's not an Avengers level threat because it's a terrorist against only America and I think like right. it needs to be like a worldwide problem kind of situation. Mm -hmm. But in Thor right. the fucking Dark World, that was an alien invasion. Those are dark it elves. Was. Yep. And they didn't do shit. And, like, there was anomalies. And it's like, that's not an Avengers-level threat? I, I mean, guess what if, not. what if, everything was going on at the same time? It wasn't. And you could even, yeah. like, time-check yeah. everything. None of it. Because yeah. Iron Man 3 was during Christmas. Right. Of, one, of whatever year it came out. What else was there? And then there's all of S.H.I.E.L.D., Burning to a crisp because of right. the Winter From, uh, Soldier situation. Winter Soldier, yeah. I mean, I'm not nutty. but then like another thing. Uh, oh shit, what was it? Yeah, so where was Hawkeye in in uh, Captain America: Winter Soldier? He could have been like on a mission, you know. Yeah, but with Shield members, retired, like, yeah. how are you? How are you gonna look at? How are you going to come back from your mission and be like, was I just on a mission with Hydra agents? Like, what the hell? And how do you not hear about that? Like, there's no way he's somewhere where he's so dark, you don't hear that your entire fucking being just got destroyed because it was corrupted. Mm -hmm. 
And like, especially Iron Man. So like, if you hear, listen to Nick Fury, you hear that uh, Tony Stark had a lot to do with the repulsor system on the helicarriers in that movie. This conversation makes me realize I paid a lot less attention than I thought I did when watching the series. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> so re-watching all this, I'm just like, yo, where actually were these people? Like, they had every reason to be there, and they weren't. Like, had the Avengers been able to handle this, it would have been so easy. Like, Captain America, like, and another thing, too. So, they made him an outlaw in the movie, and Stark was like, ah, no, nah, he's got it, he's fine, he's fine. No, he's got no worries. this. He's got this, he's got this, no way. And it's like... And they never like, really not mentioned a- that again. Like, I feel yeah. like they would have, like, around, like, the Sokovia Accords kind of situation. Yeah, and then in the next Avengers, they don't mention it at all. And, like, the thing, too, I think Iron Man is the one who brought everybody together. I don't even know how he got a hold of Thor. I can't even remember that. In but what? I don't, in Avengers Age of Ultron, Iron Man's yeah. the one who got everybody together and, like, was just like, thanks, guys, I needed your help on this situation and uh what's it called uh i don't know how he got a hold of thor that makes no sense to me but also like it's that easy and you didn't do it before mm-hmm. like could have definitely used uh yeah why was thor there i i, the fuck? I don't know i like <laughs> For Avengers, it made sense because Loki was involved and Odin sent Thor to uh, Midgard. Yeah. But in but for Ultron, Age, Age of Ultron, I have no idea how Tony contacted Thor whatsoever. Was he there for a specific reason? Because I remember they had the like dinner party or whatever thing. What happened before that, though? I have I have no idea. I'm misremembering so much. Yeah, I, know. I have to, I have to, I mean, I'm still currently watching it. My next movie that I'm uh, rewatching is Guardians of the Galaxy. The first one? Yep. <sighs> exciting. Very exciting. Very, very excited. If you but want like... to stream the movie on Discord for me, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you, we have both, you have, I have your Disney Plus. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> oh it's on disney plus where yeah oh, watch it's all of them are every I single marvel thought... movie every is. single oh every i didn't know that. you literally bought oh, black bought widow on you. there yeah you <laughs> bought black widow what are you doing yeah <sighs> well uh yeah so just like a lot of stuff that you don't notice in uh, your first run through like i was really digging for something i really did not notice another thing i didn't notice so you know the scene from winter soldier where they throw the guy off the roof and whatever right uh, right yeah so that guy was actually in the first uh avengers he was one of the people who was helping operate the uh, helicarrier when loki was prisoner and i Which didn't guy did they throw off the, roof? the bald guy with the glasses bald right? guy with the glasses yep yeah and then he got thrashed by the winter soldier he yeah. got destroyed by a what is it pensick a pensick truck <laughs> it was just immediate pensk i don't even know how you say it Pen- penskeet penskeet pensky i don't know anyway um but um, I remember bringing that scene up to you once, like, cause like I was rewatching the movie, and like I heard or realized or saw something that I didn't before, and you were like, "Oh yeah, obviously I knew that," and you said that you knew that movie like inside it out, line for line. Well, yeah, I do. I know, I know, uh, Winter Soldier like almost line for line still. Do you remember the line that I? Yeah, he realized uh, i think you were whatever. i think you were talking about when they were on the roof and mm-hmm. he was listing off everybody's names and he said Stephen strange so he was talking about dr strange yeah damn good memory <laughs> sheesh so yeah i mean 
that was a really cool thing. Like that was just like a oh my god, we're gonna get Doctor Strange at some point. So to a lot of people at least. At the time my first my first few runarounds uh watching uh Winter Soldier, I never like realized like oh my god, Doctor Strange. Because I I, mm-hmm. I wasn't like as invested as I nearly as nearly as invested as I am nowadays. Yeah. Like I didn't even know Doctor Strange was a thing until it came out. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I was saying. Like um and then what was it? Um uh, I also when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, I had no idea it was Marvel. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> until like my third time watching it, I was like, "Wait, this is a Marvel movie?" To your third time watching it? Third? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my when it came Jeez. when it came out, I was I watched it with my girlfriend at the time and her dad, and uh, I I just thought it was like this really cool movie, and I actually really like Star Lord, obviously. But then like okay. the second time watching it, I was like really good movie, obviously again. And then third time watching it, I I think I was like away when it actually showed the Marvel th- shit. <laughs> like I think I was somewhere else, and then I walked the into the. Credit. Yeah, or I think I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I think I, I think I was just somewhere completely different, and I like, or I was like getting a snack or something, getting some water. Probably walk getting into a the snack, room. you badass. Okay, Yikes. that. Yikes! <laughs> that, was, that was just straight rude. All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, gosh, does fucking purple <laughs> iPhone have another... Or not black, sorry. No That's black. a racist. <laughs> sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to hurt the purples out there. It's it's really just these black iPhone having ass motherfuckers. <laughs> but um God, what was I I didn't you made me lose my fucking train of thought. Um <laughs> You're talking about how you didn't know. Oh yeah, I, I had to be in some other fucking room when it showed the Marvel screen, and when yeah. I finally saw the Marvel screen, I was like, "Wait, this is a Marvel movie?" Yeah. So, <laughs> at what point, like in the MCU timeline, did you become like a a nerd Super- about it all? So, ah, uh, I want to say Iron Man three. Iron Man 3, I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking cool. He just calls in all these fucking suits. I downloaded mm-hmm. a game at the time that was like Temple Run, but you were Iron Man. And like, you <laughs> could unlock every like uh, Iron Man suit that was in the movie. Like, really? Igor, and uh, I know like the names of them just because of that little fucking game. Uh, there's wow. one that was called Striker, uh, Heartbreaker, Shogun, Igor. And he says Igor in the movie, but that's like the, I think. He might say Heartbreaker too, but uh, yeah, uh, Igor is like the only one that I know he actually names, like names off mm-hmm. when he's talking about mm-hmm. the suits. So yeah, I remember hearing him call in a couple, like during the whole big fight. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, but, um, you see all those ones that I just uh, there's Red Snapper, which I think I saw in the movie. I can't. Yeah. I think it was just flying around though. Heartbreaker was kind of a big part of it. I love Heartbreaker. Oh, yeah, but you're, yeah. like, a huge, like, comic MCU nerd now, but you oh, weren't yeah. up until Iron Man 3? Yeah, so I remember... Is that including with DC, or just Okay, Marvel? well, so with DC, actually, I can owe that to Jesse. Uh, the reason I'm into DC yeah, is because Jesse used to read uh, comics in our... And honestly, any class he could online. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little, a little quick shout out to Jesse out there. We, we hope you're listening, we buddy. You, buddy. Sorry, sorry you're not on this episode, but thinking about you, buddy. It's yeah, Moses' get, fault, really. Get, get a fucking, it. get a fucking microphone, pussy. Um, and better <laughs> internet for that matter, Jesus. We love you, Jesse. Ugh. But uh. <clears throat> oh my God. Ew. Ugh. Oh, he said his name, and I got fucking allergic to fucking dumb. Yikes. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> no, I think you're allergic to all the dust in your house. Yeah, that actually is a nappy-ass really haircut. Nappy-ass haircut. Uh, nappy-ass haircut. Nappy ass haircut. <laughs> <laughs> this, this podcast... Oh, you, 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 <laughs> you know what color my hair is? It's red. Nappy. Oh. Nappy. <laughs> 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 um fuck 
God damn it. You keep le- making me lose my train of thought. Uh, but the reason I got into DC was because... Um, it was really because of Jesse. Uh, I started watching Arrow because he always suggested I watch The Flash. And obviously I liked Arrow like way more. Uh, but then he would like read comics in class and I would... Uh, I would just like look in and I'm just like, oh, that actually is pretty sick. Uh, you know what? I like Arrow. I'm going to start reading Green Arrow comics. Start reading Green Arrow comics and I'm nothing but disappointed at how the, the TV show betrayed a lot of shit because uh-huh. half the Arrow villains are actually Batman villains. Pretty fucking stupid. Really? Uh, yeah. And then like Thea yeah, doesn't even are... like exist. No. Uh, in the comics? Yeah. No. Thea doesn't exist in the comics. The fuck? Yeah. She's just a completely made up fucking character so is felicity no yep john diggle's real but he's way more badass in the comics he's like an anti-hero and like sometimes he helps out the green arrow really yeah uh raz al ghul is 100 percent a batman villain he's actually oh, obviously uh, damian wayne's uh grandfather so mm-hmm. uh but anyway so I read all those comics. I was just nothing but disappointed with the show. Uh, but obviously I still watch it because Stefan Amell, if anyone's going to portray oh. uh, fucking oh, Green so Arrow, cool. Stefan Amell kills it. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is Grant Gustin. Like, if they had a better yeah. situation, they'd be absolutely the best at their jobs. Um, but yeah, so I just started reading the comics and, I, and Green Arrow just became like my favorite uh character in the in the dc universe uh i never i didn't read the flash comics i forget what other comic I'm series i did read aquaman if i do say so myself you like aquaman Face in the moon <laughs> okay. yeah, no, I, I did not become a dc fan because of those fucking movies i'll tell you that right now those movies are <laughs> ass cheeks aquaman I, wasn't that bad Aquaman's like the only one you can like say has a viable pass. Everything else is mm-hmm. ass. Okay. Yeah, it's, no, one hundred percent. I'd say Aquaman is the best of all the DC movies, but I but it's still not give it good. A four early, out of a ten. Yeah. Early Batman movies like Christian Bale. Christian yeah, Bale, those ones are phenomenal, but that's not the DCU. That's just. I don't even think it's phenomenal because of Christian Bale. I think it's phenomenal because of fucking. Um... Just like the way it is is just so much better. <laughs> Yeah, just the way that, like, actually introducing fucking characters before you make a fucking Avengers-level movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, the just Snyder... the way it was written, the way it was shot, like, the directing, the effects, like, they didn't overdo the effects with, like, an insane amount of CGI and bullshit. Like, it actually looked like a good movie. Oh, yeah, for All sure. All of them. Yeah, exactly. And, um... Another thing too is uh, I forgot the name of the actor. He's he was an amazing Joker. Our Joker now is oh uh, Heath Ledger. Heath Le- Heath Ledger oh, fucking yeah. kills it as Joker. Oh my god, best ever. Yeah. So I mean, uh, becoming like an actual like superhero fanatic, uh, I want to say that I did start with uh, Iron Man, and from there I kind of just like. Uh, rabbit hole and i was like oh these characters are actually really cool too but the only thing that i don't like about marvel versus dc dc has far better comics in my opinion dc has some really fucking bangers uh comics Mm. but marvel's comics are very confusing because like you can have like three separate iron man comics at the same time uh so you have no idea that's the whole multiverse theory yeah well like that's the thing though like you don't know which one you're even supposed to read like which one is the most canon or anything like that like there's mm. spin-offs and stuff but these are all three canon things i think but like which one do you follow like i kind of it's it's all i'm trying to say is like it's really hard to like get into marvel comics because they have like five for each character at a time huh and you don't even know if it's going to be continued you don't know if it's uh spin off you don't know if it's canon it's it's pretty hard hmm. dc is a lot more uh organized when it comes to it and like uh whoa 
Jeez. And uh, their, oh, what do I want to say? Their other hero cameos are very nice. Like, anytime you see the Flash in a Green Arrow comic, it's pretty good. Like, their interactions are really cool. Um, huh? Huh? I was just saying, love to see it. Sorry. Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was it was really cool. Um, anyone? Did you have any topics you wanted to say, Alyssa? Um, no, I thought we were just gonna wing it, honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the, I mean, it basically is. Any current events going on with your so, life, Alyssa? Uh, okay, um, with Alyssa's life. Yeah, that's. With That's... my life? Calm down, besties. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think... Uh, well, not I think. I do know. So, the, what, there was a respawn dev um, who got fired. And apparently this respawn dev is the same one who said Watson is too powerful. Oh, good. Hmm. So they're but, not going to uh, nerf not Watson. Buff. No, she's not. No, she's people not. People want her to get buffed, but yeah, dude's yeah, saying but that. But she's, she's not getting a nerf. Buff. She's not getting a nerf. But I, don't, I haven't said anything about a buff either. Uh, but that respawn dev got fired. Uh, for one, uh, apparently he had a lot of uh, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh. I think it starts with an M. Just like horrible views on women, I think. Oh, uh, misogyny? Misogyny. Uh, uh, okay. I, I was going to say misogyny, but I wasn't even sure if that's the right word. Yeah, that's the right uh, word. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sexist or misogynistic? Yeah, so he apparently, uh, in a few of his other projects, Jesus, his dogs. Uh, a few of his other projects, he would uh, not allow women to work on it. Or if they wow, did, really? he'd have them like redo it like three times until <laughs> someone else had to step was... in and say it was fine. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's awful. And so I think it's interesting that he was attacking Watson, the best girl. Right? <laughs> he's he's like, no, she's too strong. Sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And, like, I, it's so fucking interesting. Like, how can you really hate something that much? Like, I don't like Nicolas Cage, but I wouldn't end his life. Only his career. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I really hate Nicolas Cage. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I, he, he, he builds me up to this point where I, just, I, I could just strangle him. Like, no. Strangle him. Like no, I his I could eyes never... piss me off like no other. But I mean, <laughs> I guess he can live. <laughs> oh my gosh! Not a Nicolas Cage hate going on. Around here. <laughs> Do you not hate Nicolas Cage? I don't yeah. hate him. No. What? Why? What? <laughs> no. Name a name any other movie he was good in besides National Treasure. Yeah. Give me a sec. Give me Honestly. A sec. Give me a sec. Because National Treasure, superb movie, would yeah, it be movie. even better without Nicolas Cage, though? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like he wasn't awful. Like, he, he spoke mm -hmm. very softly as a historian and all, and all that kind of stuff. I don't think he deserved to have a girlfriend in the movie. Maybe it should have just been just him, but, you yeah, know. Not one shot. Mm-hmm. True. I also agree. Just looking up a list of Nicolas Cage movies, like, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well, by Jove, there are okay. awful. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost Rider? Huh? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here if you think Ghost Rider's any good. Yeah. What the fuck? Kick ass? He was in Kick ass? Yeah, he was like the Batman character in Kick ass. He was the dad guy. What? Wait, I didn't know that. Well, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't remember it, so therefore it doesn't exist. Uh, I agree. You know. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it is so hard to find a list of Nicolas Cage. I movies. totally Why forgot. Can't you just he's type in Nicolas Cage and then go I, to the movie. I typed I, did, in I clicked movie. view more and it doesn't show me more. It just takes me to a different fucking. The link. only other thing but he's decent at. The only other thing he's decent at is uh voice acting. Uh, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Yeah. Was, he was alright in that. He wasn't like, like he seemed like he would be that character. He has the fucking Willy's voice for Wonderland? that character. Willy's Wonderland, I don't know what that is. I have no fucking idea. I think Whatever. I heard the Mandy Mandy's looks ass. kinda good, but oh. I have no idea what it is. It's on Hulu. Dude, uh, honestly, a lot of these movies look like shit. <laughs> right? That's what we're saying! <laughs> uh, what the Snowden fuck is, what the good, fuck is what adaptation? Plays. What the fuck is adaptation? Oh, dude, The Sorcerer's Apprentice? I used to love that movie. Oh, was he the sorcerer? He was the sorcerer, yeah. No fucking shit, actually. We know. Yeah. He was the guy that taught the kid Balthazar? Balthazar, yeah. What? No fucking <laughs> shit. No shot. Okay. So yeah. there is so there is mm. one other good movie Nicolas Cage is in. <laughs> I will say that. Sorcerer's Apprentice was pretty good. I wanna like that was a that was a childhood favorite. That used to be my shit. I have it on DVD even. <laughs> I think I do too. That's that's but pretty good. Literally every other movie on here I yeah, it's fucking ass. have no interest in. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know how anyone says that they like him as oh, an actor fuck? whatsoever. He has a Hitler stash in this one. What the fuck? Which one? The Trust. The Trust? Yeah, it's right next to Sorcerer's Apprentice if you're looking at the same lineup as me. Oh, uh, wait up. Wait, so wait, what was the name of the movie you just said? The Trust. The Trust. <laughs> wait, did I just see that fucking... Uh, pig. Oh, I saw that title too, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. I think it's a horror movie. That oh, sounds familiar. It sounds familiar, Pigs actually. Are horrifying. Yeah, I think I, I think it's a movie. Either. Uh, get ready for the Discord chat. Okay. Oh wait, what the fuck? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Weird way of doing that, but okay. Put it, he put it in music chat. He put it in music uh, chat. Podcast chat or text? Probably put, podcast. I guess podcast. podcast topics, yeah. Oh no, that's a voice <laughs> podcast topics. There we go. Yeah, I, what, what is that? It's just Nick Cage with a mustache. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little snip Sick. from the, the trust. <laughs> I feel like Nick, the only fucking thing Nicolas Cage can ever do with his career is be that fucking guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems so perfect to be like a cop extra or something like that. Like, like a police chief that doesn't talk too much. You know what I mean? For sure. Or like, just the asshole that pulls you over because he's racist or something like that. Who's another just dog shit actor? Um, I really hope these actors never listen to this podcast. I doubt. Oh, no, I, I hope it. Nicolas Cage listens to this podcast. This Yikes. is constructive criticism. <laughs> no. I, we loved I... you in Sorcerer's Apprentice. We loved you in National Treasure. Get the fuck out of Ghost Rider and stop doing your job. Also, get rid of your hairless cat so I can have one. <laughs> yeah. The only reason I don't have a hairless cat is because your bitch ass does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to have what he has. No. He makes them nasty. That makes them nasty. <laughs> oh shit. Um I just tried looking up Google images Nicolas Cage looking badass. <laughs> nothing. Really, oh. nothing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like I've looked at all of them now. Like oh, he tries, some of them, he tries. A lot of them are just like meme-looking pictures. Like I like him just not smiling. Mm. <laughs> what about? Uh, and Brendan? I never knew he's that. He's the meme picture of like the guy being like, "You don't say," you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never, you never realize it. I never knew that was him. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. I never, I never liked that fucking meme. Um, Me neither. How do we feel about Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser. Look he was the guy who was in uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, the first one. He was also oh. in both the Mummies. He was George, George of the Jungle. Uh, oh my God, is he fat oh. as fuck now? Yeah, he's huge now. Oh my god, he looks like a different fucking person. Yeah, he, he used to really be a does. Daddy, and now he, he looks like that. Oh, that yeah. is rough, pal. He looks pretty rough. He was in a movie with fucking Liam Neeson. Oh. Apparently, that's interesting. Extra huh. extraordinary measures. Never heard of that one. Hold on. Never heard of it. Okay, I didn't know. I wasn't sure how to feel about him. Like I'm okay with him, but I just. <sighs> Realization, he was George of the Jungle. Yeah. Yep. Top tier. S tier. God. S -tier. He wins. <laughs> it was better than Nicolas Cage. <laughs> well, anyone is. Yeah. Um, the Whale. What the fuck is the Whale? Uh, Looney Tunes movie, I guess. Dudley Do Right sounds familiar, but I never watched it. The nut job was awful, even as an animated movie. Escape from yeah. Planet Earth, also fucking garbage. I, I kind of uh, like it. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot. I don't know a whole lot of these movies besides Journey to the Sign of the Earth. I never watched the original Mummies. So. I don't think I did either. Bed bedazzled the cover for bedazzled looks so fucking familiar but i i have never seen it and it's so interesting like that's in 2000 and you can 100 percent say that's 2000 like the fucking latex suits were such a 2000 thing like do you remember watching oh, yeah. uh the scooby-doo movies when velma mm -hmm. put one on Yes. Oh yes. Oh, I... That was one of my awakenings. Oh. <laughs> That's when the bi panic set in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> you, you ever see that have you seen that TikTok yet where it's just like, what are you doing in my house? It's like, right. I want waffle fries. I want waffle fries. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, so many dogs. Okay. This is actually a hot take. This uh, ties back in with Marvel. How do we feel about Mark Ruffalo? Because I don't really like him. You don't? I'm not a I huge fan. Do. I think he was really good in the first Avengers, honestly. He was, I, I think the first Avengers might be his best performance in the MCU. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of his um like his early stuff like when he was actually like his at his prime, yeah. Right, but I'm talking just the Avengers MCU. is like, after his do... prime. I'm pretty sure. Right, but like I'm just talking MCU. Like, how do we feel about Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk? Um, I think he did good. I'm, I'm curious how the other guy would have been like in the independent Hulk movie. I forget his name. Uh. Just... Fuck! Wait up! What the fuck was that sound? I pressed my lips together and I blew. Gross. What is Hulk's weakness? It... That's not kryptonite. What the? This is just incredible. No, there's that's DC stuff. From Gullible. Okay. <laughs> uh, was that serious? There's no. Wait, what? What? I'm looking at the mm -hmm. cast for fucking Hulk, and two people have Hulk under their fucking name. Two people? Yeah, two people do. There's two different Hulks? Mm -hmm. 
I don't think either one of them are Hulk either, because I thought it started with a C. It's uh, Edward Norton. Is it Edward Norton? Yeah. That was the 2008 Hulk? What was the 2003 yeah. Hulk? Because I'm sure that one started with a C. Or is that animated? That's the 2008 one. Weird. Were you thinking it was Lou Ferrigno? No, I thought it was a uh, Christian or something. <laughs> Christian something. I don't know. Oh well, Edward Norton. There you go. Because I thought there like I thought the original Hulk didn't want to be in the MCU because he had like crazy fucking demands or something. Mm, I don't yeah. remember why Edward Norton didn't continue being. It might have been like a fight or something or like disagreements right uh hot take i found out uh, how robert downey jr was able to kick his drug addiction today oh, yeah. i figured that out today so if you look it up right now there will be an article that he clearly stated he went to burger king and ordered a burger and almost threw it because it was that awful and made him realize how bad drugs are for him and he threw out all those drugs Wow. The fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, the more you know, and now he's Wait, Iron Man. who was this? Who did you This say? is Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr.? He... I told you Burger King was ass, bro. <laughs> it's awful, yes. How did Robert Downey Jr. Psst. Uh, fuck. Uh... Ah, fuck. How... What is the word I'm even looking for? Word for what? I'm just gonna read it. Uh... Wait, so Downey's wife, Susan Downey, told Harper's Bazaar that he quit drugs for good in 2003 after she gave him an ultimatum. Apparently it stuck. According to a 2013 Daily Mail article, the actor credits a combination of 12 set programs, yoga, meditation, therapy, with keeping him sober. So not Burger King, you lie. No, 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 no. <laughs> there, there is a 100% uh, article. Uh, I have to, like, find it. That's not what I want, though. That, no, that's not what I fucking want. It's just, uh, how did he... How did you lose drug addiction? Yeah, how the fuck... Where's the article? I don't believe everything you see on the internet, Moles. What the fuck is that? Uh, substance abuse... Uh, yeah, no, I can't find it right now. I'm just gonna look it straight up. Is this like important and integral right now, though? Oh, I, I think it absolutely is. Creating a lot of dead space. It, it here. fills in. It fills in. It fills in yeah, right here. I typed. It. I typed in Burger King helped, and it filled in Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Why Burger King changed Robert Downey Jr.'s life forever. <laughs> He's joking me. In 2003, Robert Downey Jr. found himself driving to a Burger King. His car, as London Net quotes from a now lost interview with Empire, was filled with tons of, eff tons of effing dope, as ABC reported in 2000. Downey has already survived years of... Uh, volatile drug use, going to jail in 1999 and getting arrested in November 2000, blah blah blah. A visit to Burger King, however, as Downey continued his explanation to the Empire, proved different. I have to thank Burger King. It was such a disgusting burger I ordered that I had... <laughs> I had that and this big soda and I thought something really bad was going to happen. After this, he states he tossed his drugs into the sea, reportedly giving up on drugs forever. Wow. 
<laughs> so it was a shitty burger and drink combination that said, this is fucking awful. This is like drugs. Yeah, I'm tossing my it. drugs. <laughs> wow. That is outstanding. Role model. Honestly. Yeah, truly. A real comeback story. <laughs> now he's fucking Iron like and he's like the best Iron Man. The Kardashians? <laughs> oh, tell me you've heard the joke before, Moles. I have not heard the joke before. You know, Kim, she gets to come on her back at some point. Oh, well, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Kim, uh, didn't um, her and what's his fuck get divorced? Because he has like, a yeah, god I think complex. In... I think that was a while ago. Yeah, right? that was like at least the beginning of this year. Yeah. That's what I thought. I just like I heard like he was abusive, and I was like, "Really? That sucks." Well, yeah, he has a god complex for sure. Like he actually thinks he's god. Uh, yeah. He's... Yeah. It's fucking, he's fucking dumb. He thinks he's god, yeah. but he's bankrupt as shit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. He made he he came out with one banger, and that was it. <laughs> it was power. What song? Power. Oh. Who's in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> Who is, in, who, is, who is in Paris? <laughs> That's the question. Answer, Alyssa. Who is in uh, Paris? Fellas in Paris. I don't fellas. think that's how they win, Alyssa. No, no. It's definitely It's yours. definitely fellas. Fellas, fellas yeah. in Paris. Yes. Right, right. Convenient. <laughs> okay. Now. I wonder what will pop up I forgot. if I type in fellas. Is that actually Paris? a Kanye West song? Wait, what? Is yeah, it? I, don't it is. I don't think that's a Kanye West song. Um, I promise. It's it's Jay-Z and Kanye. You want me to play it on Groovy or will that Yeah, yeah, be? yeah, it's it Jay-Z. It's Jay-Z and Kanye. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Please don't play that on Groovy. <laughs> I know my Kanye. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna see old Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any other fucking topics off the top of your guys' fucking head now? Because I've kind of just been leading the fucking... I've kind of just been leading this with what I got. Oh, that's you nice. I do have a list, and I can even, like, still uh, keep going. I have on here iPhone lawsuit, and I st and now I don't even know what that means. Oh, that was, <laughs> um... I brought that up, because I said, like... The guy at Walmart Electronics said that there was a lawsuit against Apple for not providing the power brick. Oh yeah, I think right, with the new iPhones, because right. the, the new USB C or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Let me see That's if that was an actual fucking thing. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I haven't even used my charger that came with my phone yet because I don't have a brick for it. Right. What do you do? You like charge it wirelessly? No, I use like the other, like the USB ones. I've just bought a bunch. Oh, interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, I just haven't charged my phone since I bought it, guys. Yeah, that's that's some battery life. You see, this is why they don't include. The, <laughs> that's why they don't include the brick. It's never gonna die. It's never gonna die. One sec. While he looks that up, I'm gonna go fucking turn on my AC. <laughs> Actually, cancel. I'm gonna play Overwatch. <sighs> yeah, that that's a fucking that is a ridiculous fucking thing though. Not including the a fuck? box just to like sap yeah. even more money out. That's so yeah. fucking dumb. Okay, I think I found something here. Okay. Apple loses lawsuit forced to deliver free iPhone 12 charging adapter to user. The removal of the charger adapter from the Apple iPhone 12's retail box has disappointed a, a wide range of users across the globe. Oh, yeah, no, sure. If you're among the ones, then this news might bring a smile to your face. Back in March this year, Cupertino-based tech giant Apple was fined by the authorities of Brazil? For ditching the charging adapter in the flagship mm -hmm. iPhone 12's retail box, the company paid two million U.S. dollars as a penalty. 
tendency. Yeah, I feel like I mean, that's, been that's more, jump honestly. change for Apple. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I feel like that should have been more. Like, you're not including, okay, like, an essential not item. Enough for the Brazilian authorities, after losing the lawsuit to Mariana Morales Oliveira, why her whole name? Okay. From, mm -hmm. I don't care where she's from, the company seems to deliver a free charger adapter to the iPhone 12 user. Let's have a closer look at this latest lawsuit and the final judgment, blah, blah, blah. So, Apple to include charger adapter in Brazil? Why only Brazil? Not here. Because fuck um, Brazil. <laughs> hello, it's 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 literally based in California. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. That's fucking weird. That that is weird. Why? So like, only one country wasn't gonna get the boxes, or Alyssa, you don't have a box. None of them. No Apple. Yeah, Apple I don't have a box. Have no. the charging brick in the whole world. Yeah. What the fuck? But Brazil decided to sue them for it. And so only Brazil gets them, I guess. Why does they're like, America care? Yeah. Like, they're, they're the only ones that complained, so. That Everyone sounds fucking it. ridiculous. What are you talking Brazil knows where it's at. What the fuck? I guess Americans are lazy or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that, 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 that can't be it. Country. That can't be it. That can't be Never. it. We're the proudest people. And America? <laughs> no way. Not us. Um. Wow. That. So oh. you. So it just doesn't give you a fucking brick. That is such an essential thing. It literally mm -hmm. is. That's so fucking essential. Like, do they want? That's so dumb. Like, I they're mean, not yeah, even, like, saving like, money. Everyone should like, have a break at home already or something yeah, like that. They assume that everyone already has one. But, like, what if it's your first phone ever? You know? Right. Yeah. Also, like... I, so, okay, so maybe Apple, what they're trying to go for here is, like, a less of a uh, manufacturing of an item. Uh, which kind of makes sense, because, like, uh, fucking, I don't know, pollution... Uh, Garbage, mm -hmm. plastic, I in the ocean. doubt Apple gives a shit about that. I kind of, I doubt it too. But like, if that's the case, and they told us that that's the case, then it would be a little bit more viable. I mean, maybe instead of them just saying they're taking but it away. This is the first iPhone generation that's had the USB-C power brick. Right, mm -hmm. and so like you would think they'd fucking include. Yeah, wait. So it's USB-C to Lightning. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. So yeah, why the fuck? Who who do they think has a USB C brick? Literally no one. Yeah, when it, it, every like, other phone is like a like USB, USB to the USB C. Yeah. Because Android's use USB C. Yeah, mm -hmm. to their phone, not to the fucking yeah. brick. Yeah, yeah, to their yeah. phone, not to the brick. To the brick, it's a USB. <laughs> Apple mm -hmm. just wants to be so fucking different and unique. Okay, yeah. So yeah. 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 So now I so now I just literally don't even fucking care about what I just said. Yeah. Fuck the fish. <laughs> fuck the fucking planet. I guess I need a USB C brick. That's ridiculous. Why is I Brazil only give a shit about that? Yeah. Well, god damn it. We need to go on strike. I don't know how we should be on strike if we don't work there, but yeah. Yeah. That's some bullshit. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I kind of want the new iPhone, but. You want the 12? Kinda. The 12 I might wait until the nice. next generation, because mine's still kicking. It's doing fine. Honestly, Which one do you have? I have the, the XR. And I have the 11. I don't know when that one came out. That was before, before, that was right before after the, the 11. And before the 11, yeah. Oh. So. That's not, yeah. that's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, it's like two years old or something. And like the thing about it too is like the difference between the uh, eleven and twelve is literally nothing. Like they promoted five mm -hmm. G, but I have five G. That just that's fucking dependent on the plan. Well, like, no, the phone has to be like capable of it. Well, my phone's capable of it, so there's no difference. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's I thought that was kind of fucking ridiculous. This iPhone, they're just like, yeah, fuck the community, fuck our consumers. Mm -hmm. Let's just take away their brick. They don't deserve a brick. <laughs> They've been bad. So, uh, 
I guess I can Fuck just look man. at it. Fuck the man. Uh, last, uh, you know, we, we don't really need to touch base on that because we already like really went through the uh, Marvel uh, DC kind of mess, kind of yeah, just going through that. talking about that, yeah. which I'm sure we're going to do in later podcasts as well, just as I'm doing my rewatch of it. So unfortunate for you guys, I'm definitely going to talk about it. Um, mm-hmm. the... Do you want to talk about COVID? <laughs> do we oh, want to talk about COVID? Shut the fuck up. I, no. I don't, I don't no think one I wants want to hear it. about it. No, no one wants. wants no it. one wants to hear about fucking COVID. No I don't even want to hear about okay. COVID. Yeah. Do you want to hear about COVID? You sick fuck. Um, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, but okay. A little bit of talk about COVID today. Just today, they started uh-huh. enforcing masks again. Yeah, because yeah, the did that Delta to variant. Mm-hmm. Wait, and only so at, I, are you talking about at work or in general? Like everywhere. Oh wow. I don't know if it's just the state or the whole country or the county or what. Pretty sure it's just the just. I think the they state. go by counties. Maybe mm. county. No, I think they go by counties for the the mask Sk- the clothes mask, that they're doing yeah. right now. Like yeah. I can well, still walk into a lot of places because Riverside, uh, like county, had to wear it a lot earlier than like a lot of other places in California yeah. because. We're mad populated. Yeah, fuck Riverside, yeah. dude. I fucking hate Riverside. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so today they started reinforcing it. And, um, like, I asked Sam about it because she's at work. I'm not, obviously. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, they're going to have to start, like, yelling at people again to wear a mask. And I know it's just going to be so much worse than the first time uh, around. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. because oh, now there's people that are going to be like, like, oh, oh I'm vaccinated, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or not so, only not only that, it's gonna be like people like I just people took this like damn I didn't thing get off. COVID. I'm not gonna get this Delta COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit. Like just like any fucking excuse they can have. Yeah. Like you only like I'm pissed about masks coming back too, but not because like masks are like fucking annoying. It's more so, like I'll wear a fucking mask if I need to. Just get. I, I want to get this over with. I don't. I. I just want normal shit again, obviously, but I'll wear the mask because it, it fucking helps something. I'm sure. Uh, it's it's a slight <laughs> difference, but it's it's something you gotta yeah, try. At if least. Ever, yeah, exactly. Like, do your fucking part so we can all get over this already. And like, but then there's just those people that like thinks it's an invasion of rights to wear a fucking mm-hmm. mask. Like, you you're not. I I don't need to do like it's jack literally shit. for your health. I don't get why people are so upset about yeah. it. And like what they were saying at the beginning of the pandemic, I remember is like it's not about you, it's about the people around you. And it's like I mm-hmm. guess yeah, makes sense. I don't know. Uh, like the less it spreads, the better, obviously. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I fucking hate that they're coming back because for a minute there, I, I like, was like wearing masks. I I'm didn't not, even when we didn't have to wear it, and I was <laughs> um, vaccinated, I still wore it. Yeah, well, I still wear a mask now. The only thing I think that's like more annoying now is that I work in a hot kitchen and I have yeah, a beard. exactly. Fucking sucks. Like, I I think food industry should actually wear masks, but having the mm-hmm. option to not wear one would make me feel a lot less guilty, and whenever I take it off, just to breathe for a fucking second. Right. Cause like it gets really bad, mm-hmm. uh, and like Chipotle it's sometimes. it's not so bad for me now. It, it might be getting bad again, but like I know, back when I was like working at Amazon, and I would like have to wear it for like twelve hours straight. Like it made right. my acne really bad, and I know it mm-hmm. does that for other people too. Like having all that like r- recirculated air, like right on your fucking face, and like oh, yeah. you get all greasy. Yeah. It just it can make you break out hella. Yeah, like, it's like it's not good for your skin and ugh. It's like putting a porch over grass, you're gonna get a fuck ton of weeds. Hmm. So So yeah, that's okay. the so that's the COVID hot take. Um but I'm pretty on, sure on. uh continue. Okay, so me and Sam were like talking about like like she was like 
saying how she's like gonna hate having to like tell people to wear it again and and we were like trying to like think of ways to make it work and she, we said like she should just start break down crying and like asking please just put the mask on i want this to be over with already please and like it i think that would work if I like, think the person so. would be so yeah. goddamn uncomfortable they'd either leave or put a mask on yep yeah, uh, I remember before I even worked in Chipotle, I walked into the one uh, closest to me, and some dude walks in uh, without a mask. They ask him to put on. This is before everything. Uh, so he had to put on a mask, and like he looks around the restaurant, and he's like, "They're not wearing masks," and uh, they're like, "The lady was like, they're eating," and he's just <laughs> like, he grabs his food. He's like, "You guys are all." fucking paranoid over nothing and he like slams the door on his way and i'm like dude nice. how fucking like how crotchy do you have to fucking be like it's not that big a deal it's a fucking piece of cloth or paper around your yeah. mouth for the safety of not only yourself but others and we're just trying to get mm -hmm. through the same as you like we don't it's not like we like it and we're just yeah, trying to get through it so i don't know and like the longer people prolong the whole thing the worse the worse it's going to be for our planet because the masks are going to be such a fucking huge pollution thing oh god yeah it's, oh god oh yeah. my god the yeah, fucking the, you see them on the streets all the time yeah. everywhere they're going to be everywhere all in the oceans the sewers ditches yep. fucking side streets everywhere the the there's just the elastic bands on those things that are uh like decomposable i think that's the word i'm looking for like mm -hmm. you put one of those uh disposable masks in water and i think like the actual mask portion will just like fade away or whatever but oh, the will? the elastic band will not i'm pretty sure it might it might sure? stay all together uh, like they're like kind of like coated in wax though yeah true true i mean i i don't know i obviously i've never done it but you know yeah that uh this fucking sucks yeah oh, let's take a look at that you know for some reason this conversation just reminded me of that one time we were playing cod late at night and both me and jesse dipped our balls in was it hot sauce <laughs> i think it was hot sauce oh my hot. god because yeah. you guys wanted to see if you could taste it with your nut sack yeah. yeah didn't fucking work <laughs> <laughs> big fucking scam oh gosh that's so good is that fucking dog oh okay oh Come there she there is hello hello sorry yeah. i just couldn't uh hear anything at all oh you're fine uh, i actually think uh we should probably wrap pretty soon here so dogs trying to get like rowdy and shit like that yeah what time and, are we at uh we are at an hour and 18. wow yeah not bad i'd say that's a pretty decent first episode yeah. and there wasn't uh, very much dead space either yeah no it was pretty much just me looking up robert downey jr and burger king that's about it yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah all right uh you guys want to wrap then yeah uh, okay. yeah how do we go about I, I I mean you just say the word like you don't have any more topics and I can just fucking wrap it okay, up. Yeah. I'm good. All right. All right. Well, thank everybody who uh was listening. Uh hopefully you have YouTube premium and you're able to thank like you, fucking besties. close thank you besties. Yeah, hopefully you're able to fucking close your phone and listen because uh there's not much to see on the fucking video version. Uh, we will not have a Spotify or Apple until hopefully this uh, takes off a little bit more and we can maybe use revenue to pay for that uh, should it actually take off. And we also still don't have a name. So whenever I come out with another one of these things, I'm just going to name it Podcast 2. So uh, if you do like it, maybe you can think of Brainstorm a name because I doubt the three of us are going to think of a fucking name for this. But we'll try. Uh, yeah, we'll try. I'll try. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, guys, uh, we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Hopefully we can do this. Hopefully we can do this weekly. <laughs> Hopefully we can do this <laughs> weekly. Uh... 
What? <laughs> Get I'm the fuck out of here. Majority of the time. <laughs> Get the, we, we don't have lives. <laughs> yeah, come on. We job. know who we're talking about here. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.